Well, if you're wondering what would happen if you were to deadlift every single day, no rest, and no other variations within your workouts, here's what's gonna happen. Stay tuned. My name is Tao. Welcome to Just Bottle. <laughs> Now, the first major thing that you will notice, within the first few weeks, you're not gonna notice any issues. Over time, it's, it's what's gonna happen over time that will, that will be the cause. Now, as you do deadlifts, you're gonna develop more muscle growth, you're gonna develop much more strength as well, you're gonna lift more, and you're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel good at the start. At the start though, not at the end. First, you're gonna feel good, it's gonna be great. After though, um, as the weeks go by, you're gonna start noticing that you're, you're not lifting as heavy or you're not recovering as much as you'd like to. There's gonna be a major imbalance in terms of your muscle proportions. Your body's gonna be well developed for deadlifting, but it's not gonna be overall. Your overall performance will start to go downhill purely because there's other imbalances within the muscle groups. The man be imbalances within your chest, or your shoulders, or your lower back or even your glutes as well. This generally all you've been doing is deadlifting, so you, you're not gonna have, be able to sort out other, other issues, which can lead to injuries and can lead to just different parts of your body that you're just thinking, oh, this part is very, very developed, but the other part is, isn't as developed. It's just like, if you're looking on an aesthetic perspective, that you would have to work, do other workouts in order to counteract this, and also to counteract the chances of you getting injured as well. So not only that, after you've done this for a few weeks, you might even stop enjoying it because you're going to be deadlifting for quite some time and it's going to be the same. You're going to be deadlifting for quite some time, it's going to be the same workouts day in and day out. You're just going to be like, okay, what else is there to do? It's a quick way to get bored, quick way to lose motivation, quick way to just start not, just not take gym as seriously as you normally would because you're going in and doing the same stuff day in and day out. This is why I would always advocate for diversifying your workout, not always keeping your workout the same, purely because you want to always shut the muscle Get your, mus get your muscles well developed for different variations, for different workouts, which will also correct with much greater muscle growth, much greater stability within your workouts and strengthen the weak parts that you don't even notice that you even have and other, other imbalances that you would have within the muscle groups that you currently work on, other, other than deadlift. That's another thing, that's another major issue as well. However though, um, the clear benefits is that you'll have a very, 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 very bold or strong back and you'll have strong legs that are built for deadlift as in you'll be able to lift much heavier than you would on any other workout. Personally, you'll probably be getting PBs on, on a, maybe even on a weekly or every, or every two week basis. So if you're generally looking to deadlift on a day to day basis purely for power, purely for strength, then I definitely say it's a good thing for a few weeks but after, after maybe a couple of weeks that you start to notice that okay you're not you start to plateau not really lift as, as heavy i definitely say to diversify your workouts maybe do barbell rows or pull-ups or lap pull downs just different variations of the back to help strengthen your strengthen your body so you can lift heavier there's different activities that you can do to do deadlifts if you haven't saw my previous deadlift video to do with the benefits of deadlifting then go check that one out but if it was a deadlift every day there's more problems that come down the line in the future but it is good for a seasonal thing if you're looking to deadlift for performance based whereas if you have a competition or anything like that I'll definitely say if you were to deadlift on a regular basis I don't think no more than 4 weeks, no more than a month would be good or a healthy amount once you get past that point I believe you start to plateau in terms of reward to weight ratio knowing that deadlifting, deadlifting in itself is a high risk high reward performance based workout and exercise so doing that on a consistent basis will at least improve your form and you would, you would have to have good form to even be able to do that for that long anyway. However, it will come with major issues down the line that you will need to work on. But it's a great way to help build muscle, build strength and increase your overall performance within the gym in terms of how many muscle groups you're engaging in. In terms of how many groups are being engaged within the workout itself. However, other, workout, other muscle groups still don't take part within the deadlift it's not a whole full body workout, it's just a major, it just involves the majority of muscle groups. So that's what makes a good compound workout. Hope you guys liked the video, it's going to be a short one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, peace. I'll see you soon. Stay ball up.